Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, what is your response when God answers your prayer? What is your response when God works in your life or you see God perform a miracle in somebody else's life? See, I don't know about you, but for me, my response, and I think it's a natural response for most believers in Jesus, is to worship. Just to, to lift up our voice in praise and thanksgiving to God. I mean, it's at that moment I want to celebrate God's goodness, God's provision, God's faithfulness, and God's salvation in whatever form it has come in. And, and, and we do that by declaring the praises of Him who called us out of darkness into His marvelous light. So that is why we worship. As a church, that's why we worship. As individuals, that's why we worship. It's why we sing songs. It's why when you come together in a, a weekend worship service, we sing songs together because that is corporate praise. That is us joining together as the body of Christ and declaring the goodness of God, declaring that Jesus is Savior, declaring that we believe in God. So that's what Moses and the people of Israel did. The setting is this. The, they had been confronted with the Egyptian army behind them and the Red Sea in front of them, and they cried out to God in fear. And of course, uh, God told Moses to raise a staff. Moses raised a staff. God parted the waters. The children of Israel walked through on dry land. The Egyptian army pursued them, and then God caused the, the waters to swallow up the Egyptian army. The children of Israel were free and safe on the other side, and the army of Egypt was destroyed. And this is the response of Moses and the people of God. Exodus 15 says, Then Moses and the people of Israel sang this song to the Lord, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his host he cast into the sea, and his chosen officers were sunk in the Red Sea. The floods covered them. They went down into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. In, in the greatness of your majesty, you overthrow your adversaries. You send out your fury. It consumes them like stubble. At the blast of your nostrils, the waters piled up, the floods stood up in a heap, and the deeps congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil, my desire shall have its fill of them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. But you blew with your wind, the sea covered them, and they sank like lead in the mighty waters. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glorious deeds, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand, and the earth swallowed them. You have led in your steadfast love the people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them by your strength to your holy abode. Now, the song goes on, but I wanted you to get a taste of just the excitement, the joy, the celebration, and the praise of the people of God at the miracles of God, at the working of God for their salvation in their life. So I want you to know today, God loves you, God forgives you, God has saved you through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, and God redeems your life even as we speak. So I hope you will praise Him. I hope you'll praise Him today when you are alone. I hope you'll praise Him today when you're driving in the car. I hope you'll turn on worship music and sing along. I hope you will declare the praises of God who has changed your life and lifted you up out of the pit and given you hope and a promise for eternity. I hope that you will praise Him this weekend, whether you join us in person or worship from your home. And by the way, if you worship from your home, I hope you're singing to the songs as well. Don't just watch worship. Enter into it and join us in praise. So I will sing to the Lord, for He has triumphed gloriously. That's my commitment, and I hope it's yours. God bless, Calvary.